Are injection wells in West Texas leaking? Dr. Zhang Lu, a scientist at SMU, says they are. He used satellite images to find out. Right that there. looks like it got hit by an asteroid from outer space. <laughs> and two years ago, he used the same technique to show how sinkholes in West Texas are expanding. Now Dr. Liu and his team are at it again, researching the vast lands of West Texas where fracking for oil happens at an industrial scale. At this location, toxic wastewater generated by fracking was pumped underground and stored in what's called an injection well. The site is now inactive. But Dr. Liu's new paper in the journal Nature shows a bump forming over five years when the injection well was in heavy use. The bump, or uplift, is about five and a half football fields across, but just seven and a half inches high. He says the bump is caused by an underground leak. How confident are you that you have identified an injection well leak? We are very confident. Very confident. Yeah. He's confident because his findings closely track with other data. From 2007 to 2011, these bars show the growing volume of wastewater injected underground. And this line shows how the earth rises in step as the amount of underground water increases. You pulled all the records of how much water was injected Correct. and when. Yeah. And what did that show? That showed the, 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 the uplift. The more water, the more uplift. Yes. And one more piece of evidence. When a water well gets saltier, that can mean that wastewater has leaked into the water table. And this line shows how sodium levels at a nearby well are rising again in step as the volume of injected water increases. Zach Hildenbrand is an environmental consultant who works with oil and gas drillers. How polluted is that water that we're putting back into the earth? Well, it's highly toxic waste. He says Dr. Liu's technique could help regulators keep that toxic waste from leaking out. This is absolutely great technology in that we can screen over the entire energy landscape of Texas, for example, very quickly. The regulator here is the Texas Railroad Commission. And what does it think about Dr. Liu's findings? It says the academic paper you reference is a hypothesis and not evidence that a leak is occurring. But the state can't say it wasn't leaking either because it appears regulators never checked. The Railroad Commission provided four inspection reports for this time frame, and each left this box empty. Pressure on Bradenhead. It's how the commission says it identifies underground leaks. We can really incorporate those technology into the energy industry so that we can make sure that is nothing can go wrong. So are injection wells in West Texas leaking? Well, Dr. Liu has a pretty good indication that at least one was leaking for years, and this technology could be used to detect more. If you've got something you want verified, send me an email.